Welcome back, West Texas. Let's get into some sports. First, let's start on the diamond. Our Damian Bartonic recently spoke with the Wallhawks baseball team. Take a listen. <laughs> The 2023 varsity baseball season for the Wallhawks is expected to be both bigger and better than ever. With multiple returning starters and depth across the diamond, Coach Jason Sneers expect success. We, we have a lot of goals, especially with our with our program and where we were last year. We we started a lot of freshmen and sophomores last year, and those guys are mostly back. Win the district last year and go three rounds deep, and that's that's kind of where we want to pick up for this season. With 101 people per square mile in the city of Wall, the community has shown up for their local sports. Whether Wall wins three games or 30, the Hawks have always been able to count on their neighbors for support. It kind of makes me feel more confident going into games knowing that I'm always going to have fans. It's amazing. Like When you play a game here, like you look up in the stands, you see all your parents, your fans, your friends that go to school, even the elementary kids, you know, they all look up to us, and I think it's amazing. Anything that the community can be involved, they, they support us in everything that we do, and so uh, our program's had a lot of success, and, and they're a big reason why. The camaraderie does not end there, though. This varsity squad believes the relationships they have built with one another off the field will pay dividends on it. Our coaches just uh, know how to break things down on a different level to us and kind of connect with us deeper like that, and it just kind of brings us all together. Seeing each other every day, you know, you just build a bond with each other and you just pretty much welcome them to your lives, you know. It's amazing. That's what, that's what it's all about. The success of your team often depends not necessarily on the talent there, but how well they get along with each other, how well they, they play for one another. And, and that's something that we, we continuously uh, try to talk about as, as our program is. It starts with the guys on the very bottom all the way to the top. And um, it, we're only as strong as, as what our group makes us be. Now, look, it's no secret that Wall ISD has been a very successful baseball program throughout the years. Back in 2019, they finished as AAA state champions and in 2022 they finished as co-district champions but the biggest key to all of that success has to be the family culture that has been instilled throughout generations of wall isd with that being said damian bartonic fox west texas and now let's check in with the angelo state softball team they are still in action against texas women's the score is one to one in the middle of the 12th inning west texas yes i said the 12th inning i don't know when this game is going to be over and i'm pretty sure if you out there you don't know either okay but hey west texas that will do it in sports for right now of course i will have more for you coming up later in the show but more news coming your way after the break <laughs> 